Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a Corgi Juniors Super Stock Car and it's the first one I've seen. No doubt there are a bunch of them out there, just not in my inventory. It's banged up and in need of a good refurbishing. I'll give it a full strip down and a fresh paint job with decals and an upgrade to a set of Samad wheels. This one came to me in a mail call from channel supporter and online friend Mark Lemonen, all the way from Finland. Thank you again, Mark. It's a pretty basic disassembly because there are relatively few parts here. A small plastic interior roll cage. The super stock body. Really small posts on this one. And it's a metal chassis with plastic wheels. I'll do away with those. It's actually got some weight to it. It's pretty heavily made. And I like that suspension in there too. Okay. We're off to a good start with no real identifiable problems. Here's one of the real super stalkers. These were not really decos or tampos on here. They were stickers and this is so old. I just used a little fingernail technology to take them off easily. And look what just arrived from the lovely Petra right up to my hobby room. Here's a quick heads up on a couple of specials that are on the way. The last day of the month is always the Four Horsemen build off. I've got a Superbird and a Ferrari FXX coming up too. Most importantly, I want to remind you, March 18th is the upload date for the Porsche 3 Invitational, which I hope you'll be a part of. This week's community shout-out goes to Mick67 in the UK, and Mick is your YouTube go-to man for all things Ford Escort related. Check it out get educated and entertained and say hello when you're there from Maple Leaf Customs. Working on the metal base I did not drop it into any decalc solution although it could have used it. I'm going to try to do a cleanup here just with my wire wheel and one of these abrasive wheels where you can see the different grits that I've laid out for you. Just pause that take a screenshot right there because look at the difference these make with just a once over application. No decal, no metal polish. I'm just using my rotary tool attachments and I got this fantastic shine. Bare metal detail, check. Please be sure to use the proper PPE in the hobby room. Now as far as my research has helped me, Super Stock Car Racing is a branch of racing most popular in New Zealand. Dirt track racing there comes in many different forms such as sprint cars, side cars, late model and many others, but the most popular is Super Stocks Racing which allows for full contact, hardcore racing around oval dirt tracks with concrete walls in close proximity to the outside of the track. Drivers are entitled to push one another into the infield, up the wall, or into one another in the fight for victory. With no blue flags, back marker cars may wait for the lead pack and, if drivers wish, may take out lead cars to best suit their track code, friends, family, or teammates. Current Speedway New Zealand rules stipulate the engine must be no larger than 248 cubic inches, with most teams using V6 or V8 race engines, with an estimated power output of around 500 horsepower. Sounds like a great time. I got a very nice finish with my Tamiya Clear Blue paint and the first clear coat. This is step two in the two-stage decal application now. 
I've taken off the British flag and this is a Finnish flag because the sender, Mark Lemonen, comes from Helsinki. So the colors and the flag and the mobile one, just because it's blue and white, <laughs> it looks like a racing number, is for you, Mark. When I originally took off the plastic wheels, I measured them to make sure when I do an upgrade, they're the same size, and these are real rubber and treaded and lettered Samed wheels, also in 12 millimeter, and they look the business on this super stock racer. Samed wheels look great on every car, don't you think? I hope you'll order some Samed wheels to put on your next custom. Use the promo code Maple Leaf and get a bonus gift with your next order. It's time to put these couple of simple pieces back together, beginning with the repainted roll cage. I was only able to drill out the front post to put a screw back in. The back one was too small, so I'll just put a touch of glue on there and it'll hold it together perfectly well. Let's have a closer look. I love the finish that I got on this and the color combination is quite smart too, in the blue and the white. Samed wheels in 12 millimeter are a little bit wider than the originals, but that suits this style of super stock car. I'm going to touch up those screw openings on the bottom with a little bit of black before this one goes out the door. Tell me in the comments if you know what that means on the back tailgate. My coffee cup is a clue. Pretty scratched up and looking worse for wear when I got my hands on this one, but a couple of days work and some cleanup gave us this result, with which I'm very well pleased. I think it looks brand new and smart. It shows off well under the garage diorama lights, with the King of Cool himself looking down. I'm now going to search for some New Zealand super stock car races on YouTube and see what the action is all about. This was the first opportunity for me to put one of my customs into this blister. Thank you Paul from Diecast Graveyard for supplying those. Mark, if you're watching and I'm sure you are, I'd like to send this one back to you in Finland. That's a thank you for that enormous mail call package that you sent me. And a thanks to each of you for visiting my channel today. Drive carefully. It's coffee time.